this week Mercury is going to transit in front of the Sun and here in the University of Surrey we are going to follow it but first we need to know what it does mean this is Monterey welcome to my cosmic kingdom As you can see today is one of these beautiful sunny days in Surrey and I just wanted to give you a brief outline of what we are going to see next week. There is going to be a special episode of Cosmic Kingdom but I don't want it to be about science. I, don't, I just want it to be about how nice and the big party we are going to be celebrating here. So what is going to happen is you know that the Sun is in the center and the planets travel around the Sun and the velocity of the planets traveling around the Sun depends to the distance within the Sun so different planets have different velocities have different periods around the Sun and that causes that at certain points the Earth, Mercury and the Sun are aligned and you have a transit because Mercury is going to travel in front of the Sun and is going to block a little bit of sunlight. For those of you that follow this video log, you know that transits are very important with exoplanets. Many exoplanets have been detected using this transit method. Obviously, because the exoplanets are so far away, uh, we are not resolving the star. And at least in most cases, Kepler is able to do that. But in most cases, it's very difficult to resolve the star, so we don't see the transit. But in this case, because the sun is just around the corner, even though it's like 150 million kilometers away, we are going to be able to see the transit. Transits are very important it's historically because it's a way of measuring the, um, the size of, of the planets that go in front of the sun. If you know the relative size of the Sun and, and Mercury or the, the, the shadow that Mercury is going to cast over the, the Sun, you can have a, an idea of its size. Like these big satellites now that Soho and others are watching the Sun allows to calibrate their instruments because they can say that, okay, you see this black point here? Yeah, but that is black. That is not grayish, that is actually black and that helps them to calibrate the, the, the instruments. Transits also prove that Kepler and Galileo was right and the, the Sun is in the middle and the planets go around them. So the Ptolemaic um, view of the solar system is not correct. That means that we can see transits of Mercury and Venus because they are inner planets. There are planets with an orbit that is smaller than the Earth. So you can place them between in the line of sight between the Earth and the Sun. Placing Jupiter between the Earth and the Sun is not possible because Jupiter is in an outer orbit and that is why this transit is so cool. Make sure you subscribe to my social networks and my YouTube channel because next episode is going to be amazing. For those of you that live nearby Surrey, um, be sure to come here on the 9th. Uh, to the observatory because we, we are going to have a big event and we are going to try to observe the transit for a long period of time I think it's going to be like nine hours I don't know if we we're going to be there that long and I don't know if the weather will hold but as long as it's sunny as, and it's not very cloudy we are going to place our solar telescopes out there and just have fun so I hope I see you all there and uh, see you next week bye bye